All right, so we are here working again over our intake bay and got everything in and we were just a couple of feet short on liner. So we are coming to come in and seam in an extra five feet of liner for ourselves so we can get that plenty far up back here without having to stretch anything or, or finagle anything. So right now we've got a board across here we, it is very cold out here, so we're using a heat gun to warm the surface and the, and the primer. And then after the primer goes down, then our seam tape goes on top of it. This is two-sided. And then once that's on, we'll get this liner, clean it, then lay it over the top of that two-sided tape. Once that's done, then we'll take one-sided seam tape and put it overlapping that joint so it's definitely a, a belt and suspenders uh and and fairly laborious process to make sure everything's done right and it is leak proof so that's what we're working on right now getting by on some little extra liner we'll end up having to do the same thing up there above our waterfalls just because we don't want to run a 30 foot wide piece of liner all the way up there that would be uh, wasteful and expensive so we'll end up seaming in up there as well to our stream liner and then running another seam up there coming out of the wetland filter right now we're loading in more rocks it's hard to believe how much rock one pond can hold but it's quite a lot of it but we're loving the way this is progressing We've got our big boulders set and so now we're going to come in with these and one man boulders and fill in the gaps. We've already got that wall built. We're gonna fill in gaps all through here and then gaps coming up there. Plugging away at this. I'm sitting in the tractor right now and we're about to set the first stone for the intake bag. This really helps uh, let the stone lets us kind of finish. This one and the next one will let us finish out the uh, progression towards the end of the pond with the rest of the stone work. We've got things pretty much finished over by the waterfall, but right now we need to keep plugging away towards the end and get this intake bay finished up. So we're gonna take this stone right here and it's gonna set right in front there and we're gonna use it to help block out entrance to the uh, front so that we can force the, the water not to come in from the bottom but force it to come over the top through the uh, top of the aqua box. There. You can't beat this right here with a stick. How is it? Oh, it's really good. good. ¿Cómo está? Sabroso. All right, so we have things progressing along very nicely here. Intake bay is in. Just have to do some some sealing up of joints right there, and you got a nice nice uh, character boulder right there that'll be have the water coming up on there. So it'll be a great point place that you could sit and paddle your feet for grandkids to, to hang out on <clears throat> and so we've been getting some some soil packed in back there we've got voids filled in right here so tomorrow the plan is to finish tomorrow the plan is to finish rocking this edge along here get that all closed up we'll get the lights in gravel the pond and then we start working our way up there with the stream and wetland filter. So we're clipping along. There's still a lot of work left though. So, but it's looking good. We're really excited about the way this is progressing. So this is what the pond looks like before the final gravel goes in. Kind of ho-hum, not all that special. Looking forward to seeing it. The gravel going in, we're finalizing some cleanup. And uh, it's a little windy out here today. Finalizing some cleanup and left some in the stone placement. Yesterday, though, I was looking for my phone and couldn't find it. Calling, 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 couldn't find it anywhere. 
had apparently leaned over and dropped it down in there. There's the tiniest, faintest little ringtone. Ended up shoveling it out. So, check your phone. I was afraid it was going to be underneath all this rock right here. Anyway, so that's that's what the pond looks like before it gets gravel. So here we have our wetland. I'm a little bit out of breath. Been digging. Um, we've got our wetland filter here. It is over excavated, but it is going to be an eight foot by 10 foot wetland. It's four feet deep, plus some extra for the centipede to sit in. So we're, we've got a big old pile of dirt here and another big old pile of dirt there and a bunch of it's already been put in place. So we're about to get this thing lined with underlayment and rubber liner, another set of underlayment, then gravel rock, and we'll get our centipede and our snorkel in place. This right here is the backbone of keeping our system clean. What this is going to do is water's gonna come in, it's windy, water's gonna come in at the bottom here, come up through our, or go along, water's gonna come in here into our centipede down here in the bottom, and then it's going to come up through a layer of these aqua blocks where it'll be diffused across this entire area and then it'll work its way slowly up through the rock and gravel and what that's going to do is the beneficial bacteria living on our rock and gravel surface are going to uh, break down the uh, nitrogen and phosphorus that's excessive in the water that would otherwise cause algae blooms it's also gonna trap fine particulates such as fish waste, grass clippings, and things like that. Small fine particulate that makes it through the intake bay and through the pump. And it'll catch it in there and then our bacteria will break that down as well. So this is our biological filter and this is what's going to keep our water crystal, crystal clear year round with very little, very little maintenance. It is a lot of work and it is not cheap, but this is the way you do it. This is the best of the best for filtration systems right here. So this is sitting right outside the kitchen window and off the patio. And you'll see that once we're finished with this, it's going to practically disappear. Right now it looks like a swimming, swimming pool and it looks huge. But once we get it all filled in, it's just going to blend into the landscape beautifully. So weather's coming in. Today's Saturday. We don't normally work on Saturday, but weather's coming in. It's going to be gnarly all week next week. So we came out and worked today trying to get this wetland uh, far enough that the weather wouldn't cause us any major issues. So right now we've we finished digging it. We've got a trench down the middle. Our centipede runs along there. Snorkel's coming up out of it. We've got our aqua block sitting on top of it. It's about an 8 by 10 wetland. And uh, so yeah, we're, we're excited about it. It's gonna be great. Our plumbing is piped into the end of the wetland down there. It slopes gradually down to this point. So this ends high, so that way that, so what's gonna happen is the water's gonna come from our, from our intake bay back there. It's gonna come through this pipe, come in here, and it's gonna diffuse into these aqua blocks and work its way up through the layers of rock and gravel. Every few years, we're gonna to need to come in and clean this wetland out. And rather than trying to empty it or do anything really extreme, all we have to do is drop a, drop a clean out pump in this right here and then wash it from the top down. We normally our flow is coming from the bottom up. Now we're gonna wash it from the top down. The sediment is going to hit that centipede that runs along the bottom. It's gonna wash downhill to the bottom, to the clean out chamber in our snorkel right here. So drop a, a trash pump down in there and that'll suck all the 
debris out and sludge and nastiness that's accumulated over the years. So right now what we're gonna do is get in here, get our soil backfilled to tighten things up all the way around our aqua blocks. Then we get layers of this cobblestone coming in on top of here. Then after that, we're gonna bring in that drainage rock that we've been using to, to fill in uh, that stuff right there. It's ugly, but I don't care if it's underneath here. It, it works and does the task. We don't use that in our ponds on anything that's visible because it is ugly. So uh, anyway, we like to use pretty rock. View of what we've got done our first full week and it was a full week all six days the 8x10 our 8x10 wetland filter is dug equipment's in first layer of large rock our cobbles is in pond is basically finished we've got to do foaming with the waterfall and couple of other little odds and ends here and there but uh, it's done and it's beautiful it is done and it is beautiful you see we got some water in there we've got a lot of rain forecasted coming in so we wanted to get ahead of the hydrostatic pressure and get some water in there we'll use that to wash it out but it's gonna be beautiful once it's finished and planted and there's fish in there and it's going to be beautiful. You see we've got our dirt piles covered up for the for the rain and hopefully it's not as bad as it could be. We'll see. 